<laughs> Alright, I gotta change my shit off now too, really quick too, because I know you motherfuckers gonna spoil it for me. So, uh, I will not see Twitch chat for about the next five, ten minutes. I love you guys so much, but sorry and goodbye. Um, but we are hopping into game number two. Spawning here on the leftmost side of this semifinal. Sending a probe out very early. Oh my gosh, oh. early. Oh, oh no! Oh my god, that's oh. awkward. Okay, it's, uh, it's Arthur. And on the right side, as the red zerg. <laughs> it's true. I forgot, Tru Tru so True was doing this really cool thing uh, on Monday where he was taking this as his natural and this as his third. Mm. So, I guess against most other players, maybe Arthur gets away with sneaky cheese, but yeah, Tru True's been playing very differently on Bridgehead. This was the map too where we first saw Ling Ultra come out of him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My thoughts well, on that too were, you remember when he played against Puck and he got stuck at the natural base and he had like all the disruptor shots coming through these rocks? Yes. My thoughts were at first, like, that's why he doesn't take this base. He doesn't want to have to deal with that shit. It's a lot more open and it, less exposed. And he kills the probe. Oh, my God. Um, I, I don't know if that's why he expands like this or not, but it, he's been playing differently for sure. Mm. Well, it really seems odd looking at that, that top base be his first base. I mean, it is so far away, it, difficult to defend. Um, but if he's going to apply any aggression, then that's okay. Uh, and we have been seeing a lot of just, you know, a couple of Ravagers being morphed in and attacking the back rocks of the Protoss player because they put a pylon back there, kind of, you know, easy snipes, free snipes for the Ravagers. And it uh, does pretty well, you know, both scouting as well as buying time for your economy to kick in back at home. I'm not gonna lie, it's gonna kill me not having Twitch channel right now because like, I really want to just, like, I want to look, I want to see. <laughs> They're not even on it yet. Okay, well, I just figured timing ish wise. Uh, so for true sake. Oh, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> for true sake, I'm not looking. I'm not looking. For true sake, again, we saw a lot of laying, a lot of uh, ultra. It was really cool seeing him go for that fast hive, but every single game did involve a Ravager push of some variety, some sort of attack. So seeing the Roach Warren come down this quickly again, despite this weird base discrepancy, not, not so strange. He's going to have units to defend and play with. Mm hmm. It's a game. They play with everything. Oh, Stargate, though, out of Arthur. This, ooh, this could be interesting, because if he goes for not one oracle, <laughs> but two oracles... I, <laughs> I, chat's actually, like, doing so well not saying it. Oh. But they are, tro like, putting, like, things like, he'll never guess that it's a yo-yo. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, if you actually got me a yo-yo, that'd be super <laughs> sweet. Like, some sort of old LEDs in it. I, can, I, I used to be able to do, like, the cradle thing, you know? <laughs> like, yo, I fucking <laughs> love yo-yos. Uh, but anyways, I was gonna say, if he went for two oracles instead of just one, he could actually kill the queen at the third, or the national, or whatever base you want to call this, and actually kill everything here. That'd be a huge problem for True to deal with. But mm -hmm. if it ends up being a void raid defensively, I'm still on the fence about whether that would even be good, because the Ravagers don't take that bonus damage. They die slowly to a void ray. Yep. It's gonna be that oracle, but there is the Ling Roach attack. It's gonna be able to bust down the back rocks. Adept sees it, which is always nice. Um, I mean, there is a possibility it is only those roaches, and True did get the third back in the, uh, you know, the natural, basically, on this map, but Arthur, hopefully, is playing it safe, thinking more along the lines of an all-in, sees more units rallied out with another adept, it looks like. It's gotta know what it is. Uh, this Ravager attack in the back is, is quite popular. Yeah, that's why we start seeing a lot of pylons coming down here as well. Good for supply, but also good for defense. That overcharge, fantastic. The downside, though, is it, it can't outrange the Ravager shots. So, it, as good as it is for True, or sorry, Arthur to have this defense, it'll buy time, but it won't stop the attack outright. Mm, Ravagers could go ahead and tear down that pylon, right? So, the Overlord is in a position? Mm, I think so. I, maybe he's worried about the Mothership Fort. Uh, there void we go. Rain coming in, though. <laughs> Prismatically aligns because reasons. It looks scarier. The... That's a lot of pylons. This is the way to defend against this attack, um, as well as, I mean, if you had units, obviously well, the... The units would be good too. <laughs> well, the other thing is, like, the Void Ray forces the actual attack out of True instead of posturing and just taking free shots. He has to go in because... No, 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 no! Ooh. Of course, the almost kills the Void Ray. It's getting close. Two more fresh ones coming on in. It's gonna uh, kill well, the Void Ray. It's gonna kill the Void Ray. There you go. <laughs> it almost killed itself. Uh, but this looks like it is going to be too much damage for Arthur to recover from. Another Void Ray comes out, but, I mean, again, it's not as well, useful as it looks like it should be. If, if he gets somehow stabilized, and it's starting to stabilize, the thing is, True doesn't have a lot of workers behind uh, him. He's still on two bases. I think I, the Link Flood is always what does the most damage. Uh, and another overcharge. Gotta get it off while you can. 
It's flooding, man. Like, he's not. His production's also been cut with these gateways unpowered. Did he make an oracle to cancel? I guess he canceled or died. Mm -hmm. uh, he canceled it. So, if he had an oracle, that would actually be great to help with the links. But yeah, True has uh, flooded the natural base very well. A lot of gateways go down, so production's screwed here. Yep. Yeah, the link flood's always the scariest part to this. I mean, the Ravagers and the Roaches are really there just to break down the rocks, it seems. Well, this, we see this fact so often, um, mostly because you cast the same three zergs all the time, but <laughs> also it just seems to be very good attack, so... Uh, he's still enough defense with the probes. Looks like he won't be losing the main yet. Actually, I just want to talk on that point for a moment. I actually rather enjoy that we get... Because it, it's not that we're casting three Zerg players because that's all that's available. We cast three Zerg players, Nurture, True, and Bly over and over again because they're good and they're the best and they're always there. So what's cool is, like, A, you're kind of learning from what you're watching and seeing them, but B, it's never dull. Like, it's always they're changing the gameplay. Like, watching Bly and Nurture come out of the gates when Liberators are broken as fuck and you see them, like, counter with Ravagers for the first time ever... I'm like, I'm so mm -hmm. glad, because we had seen every game leading up to that. We saw the games that sort of evolved to that strategy. It's cool getting to see the same players over and over. Yeah. Um, well, this did a lot of damage, down to 21 workers. True, not on the third base yet, but probably thinking about one soon. I think it's definitely done enough damage to warrant a win here from True. Um, Arthur could maybe, like, could have maybe counterattacked with a pretty big army, but he lost so much of his production, just replenishing it's going to cost him a lot of money and, of course, a lot of time. Maybe do the Void Ray recall thing. I mean, this is, like, signature move. I mean, if he snipes the base, is that enough to bring him back, though? I mean, this, oh, first off, he's not, there's no way he's touching this base. Three queens and a sport <laughs> Yeah, okay. I think, not actually, True knew exactly what was potentially coming out of this. So, lots of queens. It's funny. Queens are a better counter to Void Rays than Hydralisks are, anyway. So, I mean, this is exactly what he needs to defend with. Yeah, this is not looking too good. It looks like Arthur was thinking about that. It was like, I could do something, and something is using those Void Rays to the best of their ability, but... Only three, first of all. Usually, we think we saw four when he did it. And uh, tons of defense. True knows exactly who he's playing against. Spores about to finish. Gotta be careful. Oh, maybe no, not. Nope. Go. He's got prismatic alignment. Yeah, you, just kidding. You, you My silly. bad. <laughs> you silly. Oh, ah, kill no. it. <laughs> it's like window wipers <laughs> going back and forth. <laughs> Wishy washy, Daniel side. This is doing a lot of damage just because not everything was in position Actually, from the get go. And lifting up the queens just crowd controlling them from the fight. This is so important because true. He's funneling in. These weren't all the queens attacking at once. These are the queens coming out one or two at a time. Uh, Spore Claw is going to finish, but even without prismatic alignment, still a lot of damage coming out of this. Going to move towards the main, looking for some more kills, but that's a lot of Spore Claws finishing up. And I don't know yeah. if he's got the damage without overcharge, but the Phoenix soaked the hits. Uh, Void Ray is being kited back. Used very nicely. Uh, it just, it's, it's doing a good amount of damage, more than nothing, basically. But it is not he's, enough that True, I think, couldn't recover from. Maybe. I, I like this defense at Arthur, too, though. Like, he's, he's got just barely enough to make sure he actually you doesn't take You know what's so much. funny? He doesn't kill any drones, but because he built so many spore crawlers, he's killed, like, eight of them. Yeah, he's inadvertently killed the drones. You're right. Uh, but the sentry adept defense is so amazing, just how, how good that's stopping one or two links. Picks up this other queen, gonna go down once again, and this? True's gotta be, like, questioning Mark. You're like, what the fuck? This is hilarious, and he does get a base. He'll get two. He should base. absolutely get this other base. If he repositions the spore crawler, it'll oh die before he can burrow. Three void rays is too much damage, and he can always recall, as you pointed out. This this is Arthur's like number two move he would go for. This attack, what's with this like Ghostbusters? Don't cross the beams, man! Don't you know this rule? I cannot believe this is working. Picks up the queen instantly. Spore crawlers trying to get position. A lot of spore crawlers coming in, but he gets the base, and he's like, "I'm getting the fuck out of here." There's gonna be no spores in the main now. If True has so much money. Oh he my just god! Can't use it. If he's going up to five, oh, he's gonna get vipers. He's gonna get vipers. I think vipers are not a bad response, but they're not gonna have enough energy in time to kill all the phoenix plus the void rays. The void rays can actually yeah, snipe. Die. Oh my god! There's nothing protecting the, the lair. It's actually vulnerable to the void rays. Prismatically aligned. Right, he doesn't have enough hatcheries to build enough queens. He's trying to get investors out, and they'll be able to throw down a nope. Mesoterian, so they don't have bad win. He's going to win this game. There's, there's just no way I, True can deal I with this. I think he's actually going to win this game. In fact, True... Oh my god. What the fuck? A <laughs> uh, little too scared of the, uh, the army piece? of spore crawlers, but he just has to move around in a circle. So, but hang on. So spore crawlers are building, not a unit. Does Time Warp affect their movement? I actually have no idea. Yes, I think I'm pretty sure spine crawlers have been affected by time warps in the past. Okay, okay, I wasn't sure. We still see it happen ever. Like it's it's not a thing. I'm pretty sure. I, I actually don't quote me on that one though. Uh, a couple of investors so, coming out. Ooh, fungal growth. The hive. 
I think really could have should have died. I think he was scared of one spore crawler when really he could have just just torn it down. But uh, now there's definitely enough spore crawlers that you don't want to try and take on the hive. He's gonna take on the other base though. You know, one of the things though was like Arthur didn't dick around with this was going on. He built another nexus at home. He continued to expand. This wasn't like oh my god, here's all my eggs in one basket. Phoenix do get fungled, but not before picking up the, uh, the investors. Oh my god. Void race kill the spore crawlers That's that were off the creep. A couple more Phoenix are gonna go down, but I, they've already done their job this game. It is so lucky that True had like 900 minerals in the bank. I he can't. would be on no bases. I can't believe this. I can't believe this is One working. Viper. One Viper is gonna come out oh! in half. No, look what's coming up behind this though. There's no way he can deal with this. He's not gonna have the Corruptor count to actually deal with carriers. Oh my God. At the very least, True will have a fresh base, but nothing to protect it with. Void rays just don't give a good gosh darn first manic alive oh, no, and melts no, 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 the no, spore no, crawler. No, 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 no. Ah! There's not enough energy. Even if he, he even gets one. He, um, like, he just. Do you lift up the infested terrans? This he, is so silly. He doesn't have to worry about this at all. I true knew this was coming. That is the worst part. <laughs> I don't, like, he built so many queens. He built so many spore oh, crawlers. No carriers. GG. Oh my god. This is why Arthur is one of her favorite sons of bitches, Protoss the cast. Like, <laughs> he makes he makes stuff work that shouldn't work. <laughs> he wins games he shouldn't win. That was uh, that was crazy. That was so stupid. No, that was wonderful. All right, that ties up the series one one. We're gonna once again sneak in another two minute break, guys. I'm sorry. I love yous, but we'll see you in a couple moments for whatever the resolution of game three has in store. <laughs>